Hey everybody, Jody Brown here, and I just wanted to come in today to share some information um, that I thought might be helpful for people just starting a ketogenic lifestyle about the basic food keto food pyramid and the foods that are the best to consume while following this lifestyle. So I have a very simple keto food pyramid here, and you can see that at the top we have berries. Now you're going to want to stick with berries as your fruits because they are lower in sugars and lower um, they have a lower glycemic index um, which has a lot of benefits so a lot of the other fruits have um, a lot a lot of sugars and then we have our nuts and seeds now in this category my recommendation is going to be macadamia nuts but depending on how strict you're following keto so i am more of a lazy keto high fat low carb follower so because of that, if the nuts fit into my day, as long as they fit that high fat, low carb profile, I will eat them. But if you're really following a strict keto lifestyle, macadamia nuts are going to be your best. But again, with all of this, remember moderation and still tracking and keeping up with everything. You don't want to eat a whole container of blueberries. You don't want to eat a whole container of macadamia nuts. Um, but I will say I do not have a Costco membership, but I have heard that Costco has the best price on macadamia nuts. So just a little tip. Um, and as far as berries go, um, I'm thinking strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, those types of, of fruits. And then on down our food pyramid, we have some uh, non-green vegetables and then our green vegetables. You want to get more of the green vegetables than the non-green, but if you're going to go off this non-green category, stuff like um, carrots. Now, cauliflower is excellent, so that would be another option. Um, but then your green vegetables, zucchini, cucumber, um, squashes, not green, I know, but those are excellent. Um, broccoli, asparagus, those types of vegetables. Try thinking uh, green vegetables that are grown above ground. And then you have your oils. So you can cook with the oils. You can put the oils on top of stuff. Um, you can simply take a spoon and eat some if you need some more healthy fats but i'm thinking coconut oil mct oil um olive oils to kick in those types of things and then we have our eggs and dairy i use a lot of eggs hard boiled eggs eggs and casseroles eggs are excellent um for dairy cheeses um ricotta cheese um those have a lot of those higher fat, moderate protein, low carb profiles. And then for your meats on the keto lifestyle, you can have meats that are not like your turkey meat, your lean meats. You want to have steaks that are more of the fatty cut steak, the meat that has more of the uh, fat content. You can also um, have seafood, also excellent for you. And then I want to make sure you notice the no column down at the bottom. No bread, no pasta, no sugar, no milk, no corn, no beans, no rice. But guys, I know that those are very popular items that people like to eat. But you can substitute rice for like cauliflower rice. You can instead of, well actually there is low carb keto bread. Um, but, you know, for me, I, with my um, lazy keto-ish lifestyle, <coughs> I do enjoy low carb wraps. Pasta, use zucchini noodles, squash, spaghetti squash, those types of things. Get your spiralizer out and make some noodles with vegetables. Sugars, stay away from the sugars. But there are low carb alternatives. I love Swerve the best, but there are other options as well. But Swerve to me tastes the most like actual sugar. And they have granulated sugar and um, confectioner sugar. And then milk, you might not think it, but you check out the back of a milk container and there are more carbs and sugars in there than you would think. So I love unsweetened almond milk, but coconut milk is also an option. So this is just a very quick breakdown of your keto food pyramid. I hope that you find that helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and information, recipes and support. Leave me some questions if you have them, comments for me, and um, 
we'll chat on our next video. See you soon.